Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Norm. I uh, just wanted to uh, just say hey to you guys. I know it's been a while since I've been back on. Uh, my schedule's just been pretty busy lately, as usual. And uh, since summer's getting ready to come back up, that's usually when I'm the busiest. Um, but I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing on here as best I can. Uh, I just love you guys so much with all the encouragement you give me and the comments and everything. I'm just so glad that uh, what I'm doing is helping make a difference. And I'm just so glad that God's using it. Um, to just do the miraculous things that he does. I, I just I just love being a part of what he's doing. That's a huge honor for me. Um, I wanted to uh, share with you guys a testimony. Um, it's Valentine's Day, or actually it was yesterday. And, uh, um, and uh, I recently just got engaged at 40 years old. And um, my story, and actually my uh, future wife's story is pretty similar. And... Um, I just kind of thought I'd just kind of share with you uh, the story here in hopes that it might encourage some people that are single and looking and thinking that there's nobody out there for them and, and everything. But um, I was one of those guys that just thought it was impossible to find what I needed. And um, basically the story goes like uh, I really hadn't been in that many relationships for probably 38 plus years. And um, a lot of the reason was because um, I had low self-esteem and I uh, was afraid of being lonely, but I also had a fear of being in relationships as well. So I was, ha I was like between a rock and a hard place. Um, the relationships that I was in, uh, most of them ended pretty disastrously. I uh, struggled with panic attacks, um, you know, and uh, some, just some things that had happened to me uh, that were pretty painful. So a lot of that stuff kind of just uh, caused me uh, great pain, and it interfered in a lot of the possibilities that I could have had to be in a relationship. Well, uh, anyway, the story goes kind of like I had gotten to the point where I just finally just said, God, I don't know what more I can do. I've done everything. I've done nothing. I've tried online dating. I've tried dating services. I've tried not dating. I've tried everything. What am I doing wrong? And um, it got to the point where I realized that I had to just finally surrender to God and have God basically take me on a journey with him. And uh, I remember the first thing was is that he encouraged me to go to a Christian counselor and uh, just talk with him. Because um, I was dealing with a lot of emotional things. And especially I could not understand why I was going through this fear of relationships. Um, I couldn't understand why having a girlfriend would terrify me, but at the same time, I didn't want to be lonely either. So um, I started talking to my counselor, and the Lord was with me the whole time. Um, there were times he just talked to me after the session. He was like a counselor for me after I had done my counseling. But long story short, um, there were some issues in my childhood that uh, we started talking about. And from there, we kind of dug delve deeper into what was going on and why I was having these things. But basically, it was, it's almost like when you start going to counseling and start talking about your problems and you start to see why you're dealing with these fears and where they came from, it like opens up an entire new world. It's like, it, it, it's almost like the light bulb just goes off, you know. And um, there were a lot of tears that were shed. Um, there was um, a grieving that I had to do. And this, you know, and I'm off for probably about a year and a half or so, I probably do the counseling. Um, but uh, there was a point that, um, you know, it was um, after I'd done the counseling for a while, the Lord had asked me to surrender some things that I had been holding on to for a long time, like hopes of having uh, a relationship or starting a relationship with people that just wasn't going to work out because of distance, because of this, because of that. You know, and these were things that I was hoping might work out somehow, but I realized that they weren't. And I had to basically let go of them. I had to let go of them. And it was very, very difficult. I kind of was like, you know, if it doesn't work out with this person, then maybe it'll work out with this person. Or if it doesn't work out with this person, maybe it'll work out with this person. But then I would go through the whole thing of like, okay, I, I have a chance to be with this person, but I'd rather be with this person. And then it would switch off and on. It was just a mess. It's a huge mess. Well, anyway. I started doing my counseling when I was 35 years old, and before all this, I had gone through a lot of disastrous relationships. And um, anyway, I remember that I had asked the Lord, I said, God, I've never been married. I have no children. I've saved myself for marriage. 
And it seems like the only people that I can have a chance of dating are on a higher level than I am. I feel like I'm playing high school football, but the only place I can play is like in the pro leagues. You know, and I said, Lord, is there anybody out there that has similar experience to me? Somebody that's never dated or not dated that much. Somebody that's not married. Somebody that doesn't have any children. Somebody that I can start a fresh marriage and life with. Is there anybody out there? And uh, I remember I specifically prayed about that. Um, but basically, I had to kind of go through this journey of counseling and healing and everything like that. And uh, not too long after that, I met Rebecca. And uh, it was, uh, you know, when we went out on our first date, I had absolutely no idea uh, the wondrous joy I was going to receive from dating her. It's like uh, God used Rebecca to help heal me and to break these thought patterns that I had about relationships because she disproved all my fears. And uh, we took everything one day at a time. She was so understanding. And she had lived my life, basically. She had never been married. She hadn't dated that much. She was the right age range. We had the same beliefs and everything. I mean, we matched up like 99%. We met on a free dating side of all things. And uh, anyway, as our, our relationship grew and as I continued on with the counseling and stuff, it's like uh, I finally fell in love for the first time in my life. And uh, I just am so blessed and thankful to have this gift that God has given me. And I know it's from him. Because to try to find somebody that saved themselves from marriage and has never been married and has no children is in the same age range as I am. I mean, there's, I just, it's impossible to find. But the thing is, and this is the encouragement I have, is that the Lord knows what your needs are better than you do. And I mean, I I had a certain thought of what I needed, but the Lord knew that I needed some more than what I thought. And it's like what I have is so far beyond what I could have ever envisioned or hoped for. And uh, I guess the encouragement I have is that, you know, I'm 40 years old, and I've managed to, and God, I've managed to find the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And I thought that that was never ever going to happen because I had, I felt like I had so many issues, I felt like I had so many fears, I felt like. You know, I was dealing with low self-esteem. I was dealing with all sorts of things. But, uh, you know, God set me free from that. And uh, he walked with me every step of the way. Um, he just encouraged me to do certain things that I needed to do, and he would take care of the rest, and that's exactly what he did. So I guess my encouragement is, is um, if you're a single person, you know, I think in most cases, unless God calls you to be single, that he's got somebody out there for you. So my encouragement is ask the Lord, Lord, what... Is there anything that I need to do for to be healed from in my life so I can be a good husband or a good wife? And that's something I realized I had to do because I didn't want my problems and my issues to interfere in the, my future marriage. Um, and this is just what I had to do. Um, you know, are there any patterns that you need to talk about or whatever? I mean, it could be different for everybody. But I guess the bottom line is, is that if you trust that the Lord is going to give you a spouse, He will give you a spouse. Um, just ask him if there's anything that you need to surrender to him and anything, what you need to do on your part, you know, and just let the Lord handle the rest because he knows everybody that's ever been created. He created all of us and he knows exactly the person that will be perfect for you. And it doesn't matter how far they are or how impossible it seems, it can happen. All you have to do is just surrender it to God, give it up to God and just realize without a shadow of a doubt um, that he will give you the desires of your heart if you delight yourself in him and distrust him. And that's my encouraging word. God bless.